attempt to do that in the case of Matubato. On Justice and Human Rights, the Commission continues to pray that the committee will succeed in ferreting out the truth. Eh, pinagdadasan naman po na tayo, tayo eh. Talaga naman nung yun ang pupuntaan natin eh. Wala naman ako pinapalampas dito eh. So, siyempre, <coughs> when Senator Subiri came out with that, I had to answer already. And we are not taking out human rights out of the equation. I just said, under the circumstances, kung pinagdududahan niyo ang committee, ang, ang committee ng Senado, una kayo pumunta rito because the Commission on Human Rights under the Constitution is allowed to investigate and recommend the filing of cases. Ipapadala niyo ang kaso rito ng mga testigo ninyo na pailan na ni, Senate, ni, General Bato, ni General Bato at tulong ng hilo na tulong kay Bato Bato at kay Bato <laughs> eh napailan na at pinuntahan ka agad yung unang witness dito Nakabuti nga yun eh. Inimbestiga na kagad yun eh. At ang sabi ko nga, sa totoo lang, eh lahat huya may testigo, dali na natin sa polis, file na ng polis. Pag hindi ginawa ng polis yung kanilang trabaho, saka natin investigin ng polis kung talagang rank ang negligence nila, ang direlection of duty, o ang pagsunod, may malfeasance, o misfeasance, or nonfeasance. Eh, sa akin no, in spite of maraming request and I don't want to be petty pati nga ho expenses ng human rights isa charge to sa committee eh okay lang ho sa akin yun wala problema pero wag naman kung ayaw niyong respetuhin ang nag-iimbestiga wag na kayong pumunta rito dahil hindi naman yung kami re-respetuhin hindi nyo re-respetuhin ang senado wag na mag-aaway lang kami ni uh, chairman gasto na kaibigan ko tiga UP at uh, kahit na ibang partido niya, hindi ko sinasama yon pero magkaibigan kami. Because ako rin, may partido rin ako, pero wala ako sinasabing bias siya. Ang sinasabi ko lang, do not come here if you do not want to respect the committee, if you do not want to respect the institution of the Senate. But if I were to be asked, as chairman, and I've been chairman of SBMA, I've been chairman of other positions, as secretary, there is always me who will speak And when I'm going to attack somebody, I will do it myself. I will not have any member na magkakagulo. You will recall, ang komilek nung araw, nagsasalita isang commissioner, nagsasalita isang commissioner, and there was a spectacle na nag-aaway yung commission. Ang hinahingi ko lang, if any, at kung hindi ako mapipigbigyan, okay lang, sabihin ni Chairman Gaston, eh, he does not speak for us, we dissociate ourselves completely from him, at huwag naman yung spokesman na hindi ko man lang kalikilala kung sino yun, eh, respetuhin niya naman ang Senado. So, now, we talked about this in the recess, so I will go to the, cut to the chase. You are going to raise a question that kailangan may three-day rule? Yes, sir. No. Uh, that's why I raised it before the committee, uh, before the whole session. I said, because of this, I am constrained uh, to go on with the hearing Call the police and continue it and finish it without the Commission on Human Rights because if they don't want to respect us, we will not uh, bring them over. Because anyway, they have witnesses. Submit your witnesses. We will give it to the police. They will investigate. I don't have to investigate. We are not policemen here. We are here to create an aid of legislation. Tapos na po yun. Nasa isip ko na ho. Susulat ho. By Monday, we will come out with a report. Linis na lang ho itong gagawin namin para matapos na yung mga tatanungin namin sa mga polis. Kung meron tayo ita, uh, nakitang uh, ginawa ng kapulisan na lapastangan sa karapat ng bantao, i-file po natin ang kaso sa polis. I-file lang human rights. Hindi po pwede kami mag-file. I can file on my own separate and individual capacity, but the Committee on Justice can only make a report and it is up to the Senate President to refer it to the ombudsman, to the police commission, or to whatever, na mag-file sila. In the meantime, I do not intend to waste any more time on the issue. I don't want to be arrogant. If you disagree, take it to the floor of the Senate. Again, which has been done yesterday. We are going to hear, and who knows? I am against, and just to show you, I am against the death penalty. My father was assassinated. A niece of mine was, was badly murdered by a houseboy. Nahuli ng mga polis, mayroon ko noon. Sabi, patayin na namin. Huwag niyong papatayin. 
Ikulong natin. Ngayon may bill dito na kinausap ako ng ilang mga senador. Ano ba ang solusyon dyan? Payagan nyo na ang death penalty sa mga drugs. Para siguro, imbis na nagkakapatay sa drugs, i-file na lang ang kaso. Eh, gusto-gusto ko yun. Pero, I will not support the death penalty. Because sa akin, mas masama, mas mahusay, ikulong, wag lang preso kabalyero. Yun lang ang gusto ko sabihin dito para malinaw na ho. And I will give you a minute to conclude para matapos na po. That is what I'd like to state here. In front of Chairman Gaston, who's there, I would like nothing better for him to come here. But for so long, as Chairman Gaston and the Commission does not dissociate himself from this rogue individual, whom I don't even know, the Senate doesn't even know, who dares accuse the Senate of all of cowardice, I'm a senator. You know, sabi niya sa harap ko I... Ay, ay hindi naman ako matapang na tao pero huwag niya sasabihin sa harap ko alam ko naman magaling magtago yung mga cowards eh. the real cowards are those who die a thousand deaths because they cannot confront so they want to confront the newspaper take it to the newspapers it sells the press I'm not going to reply to it because I will not even give it the dignity kaya lang lumabas ito because ito nangyari it is a failure on the part of the Commission of Human Rights on being judgmental. That is my personal opinion. That if I was chairman of the Human Rights Commission, isang tao ko, isang commissioner ko nagsalita, partner naman, hindi naman dapat siya sinabi mo. I would have to dissociate myself from that statement. And any other commissioner here can dissociate himself if they wish to. But please do not write me a letter saying we hope and pray that the Senate will ferret out justice. That is what we are here for to ferret out the truth, and to go to justice. That is what I accepted this commission for. I am overloaded, and I like it. I'm used to work. 13 hours. That has never been done here on committee hearing. I had to, all the others had to suffer for it. My staff has to suffer. The staff of the senators had to suffer. Six hours before. So, tapat ho, respetuhin niyo. Hindi kami nagbibiruan dito. Gusto namin matapos ito para baka agwanta po tayo. And if I may say, lahat kami ayaw namin ng patayan. Walang Pilipinong gustong patayan. And the surveys of the President even show that. Popular ang Presidente, pero ayaw namin yung patayan. You all know that. Hindi ho ako sumusunod sa uso. Kanya-kanyang paninindigan. May I continue, Mr. Chair? Yes, you may. You have a minute. Thank you. I do not wish to make any counter-manifestation or counter-statement in reference to what happened during that, that uh, proceedings on which led to the outbursts. So may I just go back to the two points that I was uh, mentioning. First, in relation to the suspension of uh, hearing out the uh, CHR witnesses on account of these unfortunate comments and statements from one of the commissioners. I am constrained with due respect, Mr. Chair, to uh, suggest or even to move that we allow the Chair of the Commission on Human Rights to speak, say something, because certain statements are also being uh, attributed to him my statements and the statements of the Honorable Chair. So I think it is but just fair, just and right, that we give the Chair of the Commission on Human Rights to make a statement to explain the side of the Commission on Human Rights. Because the CHR witnesses have been prepared, have been ready, have been waiting since day one of this ongoing Senate inquiry from the first hearing where I presided. They were there. They, and some of them come from the province. And they've been waiting to be presented before this body. Yes, this issue about the unfortunate statements attributed to one commissioner has created this situation where both institutions seem to be now at loggerheads. Institutional integrity 
institutional uh, what? It's, it's institutional integrity because while I was talking to the chair, he's also pointing, she's, he's also saying that this also involves the CHR as an institution. If the CHR will simply issue an apology for something that it has not done or stated as an institution. There are other remedies, Mr. Chair. If we want to go after the so-called rogue commissioner because of such expressions of his opinion, such expressions of his sentiments also with respect to the goings on in, in the ongoing in, in the Senate inquiry, there are other legal remedies like first requiring him to show costs. Why? I'm sorry, he should not be expired. He should not be cited in contempt. Uh, it's sorry. also my prerogative, Mr. Chair. That the lady's minute has expired. The committee has the prerogative to continue on with the hearings. I'm sorry. I have a motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead and find the motion. State the motion. Can we can we tackle this? Because it's a no, motion. No, state your motion. Do not, uh, do not do so. Do my not motion. My motion is for the committee to allow or give opportunity for the CHR chairperson, chairperson uh, Gascon, to explain the position of the Commission on Human Rights on this issue about the uh, statements being attributed to one commissioner. And secondly, Your Honor, I have not gone yet to the second point with respect to the issue of whether or not it is proper for us to tackle the death penalty bill in the absence of uh, compliance with the three-day notice rule. Yes, this was mentioned yesterday by the good chair in the course of the proceedings yesterday at the Senate by way of his comment or reaction to the privileged speech of a member. But let's take note, please. Let's remember that the, the matter of the EJ case is before a committee or two committees, the Committee on Justice and Human Rights and the Committee on uh, Public Order and Illegal Drugs. The matter is not before the plenary. And there was no proper motion filed or raised at yesterday's plenary session about the propriety of tackling the death penalty bill in the course of this inquiry into the extrajudicial killings. I think the other members of the two committees would want reasonable opportunity also to go over and study the death penalty bills. I, for one, just like the good chair, is against the death penalty. I want to participate thoroughly in the discussions and the deliberations, and therefore I would want reasonable opportunity also to tackle that bill. Let us invite also appropriate resource persons in tackling a very important piece of legislation, the death penalty bill. We cannot just infuse it in the ongoing inquiry into the extrajudicial killings because that is the very subject matter of this inquiry. So I raise a point of order, and I would want that also decided on by the committee. I would not be dissuaded from that. So I have two motions, Mr. Chair. You Thank you very much. You can only have one motion at a time, and you are over. You are uh, you are out of order. Let me just say this: Yesterday you apologized to me, and I did not even bring it up. Now you're going against the issue, and you're going against the grain. Now let me let me just finish. You cannot control this uh, uh, the way you controlled it last time. I, I don't want to fight with you. I respect you. But let me just point out, I am not going to veer from the purpose of this investigation. The whole hearings have been, you know, so convoluted by all kinds of detours. The hearing started with an investigation on extrajudicial killing, and then all of a sudden, from out of the blue, an individual named Matabato was brought in, no affidavits, and the hearing was conducted that resulted in a fiasco where, unprecedentedly, the chairman was removed for lack of objectivity. And yet, you cannot blame this representation because I went over backwards again. 
without postponing the hearing, we went on as scheduled. We continued with Mr. Matobato, even if it was going to derail. Already there were already inconsistencies. And we're not judging. We can prove that. I have all the charts to show that. But we continued on with that. It was a wild goose chase. And at the last minute, he disappeared. After 13 hours, when the moment of truth was going to go there, when the confrontation with the people he was going to be, he was accusing, he left only to discover that he had a pending warrant of arrest. And now he's incarcerated in jail. And he should be brought to justice. You know, I, it's not far from, you know, a little fried chicken. I'm not, I'm not involved with fried chicken here. It's not a question of pride. I mean, I don't care if you apologize or not. I thank you for it. I think that's very noble, but that's okay. Let's finish. I did not even go there. Even before your apology, I said I'm not going to go and bring the Senate to another distraction. People are saying we should concentrate on traffic, we should concentrate on peace and order, we should concentrate on other things. Here comes another distraction. We cannot be forever distracted. I, he is my friend until now. He is here. I did not say anything against him. Would you like me to read his, co his statement, his text? I will not present him here, but I, with your permission, Sen uh, Chairman Gaston, I will read it because it speaks about you as a gentleman, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And I will quote, alam niyo, ito na text sa akin si Senator, si Chairman Gaston, baka maging Senator yung balang araw. Anong sabi po niya? Binasa ko po yung Senado kapon. Kaya sabi ko, hindi na nga kailangan eh. Good evening po, Senator Gordon. I am currently in Amsterdam and heard about the news report that one of our commissioners criticized you. This is not the position of the commission and bank. And I, sabi niya, and I apologize for whatever aggravation this may have caused you and the honorable members of the Senate Justice and Human Rights Committee. I have spoken to the other commissioners and hope, and we hope to make it right. We hope to make it right. May I please call you? Thanks and God bless. And I replied to him, and we talked. Sabi niya, ako sabi niya ibang commissioners. Eh, ano mas lumabaso ito? Did I did I bring this out? I did not. I did not. Senator Sabiri saw a newspaper report. Na, that we were being slammed uh, that you know we, the CHR was slamming the committee so he stood up and when he stood up I had to stand up already now sa akin wala ko yan the apology the personal apology of Senator of Chairman Gascon is taken into consideration I respect him as a gentleman he doesn't have to apologize to me the least this guy could do is apologize for himself. But the point here is when the commission is dragged, when the headline. What is the newspaper? It's not here. When the, new, when the newspaper, which I brought in a while ago, uh, came in and says, big, big headline, CHR. Eh, talagang magkakaroon talaga ng issue dyan, which I did not raise. Tama na sa akin yan. Sabi na ni Chairman Gaston, pero lumabas na nga yan, pero lumabas na nga, ano ba ang gagawin? Papapuntahin niyo pa si Chairman Gaston and we will be diverted? I think that I don't have to do that. I think, eto binasa ko na, that's good enough for me. Mr. Chair, I'm withdrawing momentarily my second motion while we take up my first motion. I'm reiterating. Uh, the, the chair is confused. Which motion are you talking my about? First you motion, have two motions. My first motion, Mr. Chair, is to allow the chair of the Commission on Human Rights to speak and to explain the side of the Commission on Human Rights on this issue at hand. Thank you. That is a pending motion. It has to be resolved first. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be any member of the committee here. Are we going to vote each other here?
in a technicalities was always we, given to substantial justice. You know, dapat tapusin na natin dito. I move dito. to suspend. Alam nyo, I, move I to don't suspend, understand Mr. Chair. it. I really do not understand. When you make something, you know, you accuse the president, sasabihin ka nun, you withdraw. Ako, ah, i-accuse him. Hindi po, let's not sorry kayo. go to that, Tapos, Mr. Chair. Let's not go to that. And you will say sorry. You will say sorry. You will say sorry. And now, there is a particular matter at hand, so... Excuse me, what are you trying to tell me? Um, hindi po uh, appropriate na nag, kung ano-ano naman po ang uh, hinahalo uh, niyo na issue. Anong hinahalo? Ikaw ang naghahalo. And I am not going to, hindi kita papatulan. Oh, sige, there's a motion. Let's vote. We have a quorum. One senator, two senators are here. Let's vote. There's a motion that says we should bring Senator Gas uh, Chairman Gaston here. Well, senator na palagi, tatlong beses na, baka mag-senator ka na. <laughs> All right? As many as are in favor of bringing Senator G uh, Chairman Gaston, pag-apot na, uh, to testify here. As I many as are against? Oh, walang, walang boto. What do we do now? Then I raise the second motion. We defer at the moment. The motion is overruled because there is no vote. Okay? I will raise it again at the proper time. You can raise anything at the proper time. May I raise the second motion or reiterate my second motion on the uh, propriety of taking up the death penalty bill without compliance with the three-day notice rule before this committee. I move that we defer the taking up of the death penalty bill until such time that there is compliance with the three-day notice rule to afford the members, the other members of the committee, sufficient notice as well as notice to resource persons. Is there a second? There appears to be no second motion, so the motion is overruled. Let's proceed. You may bring it up to the floor next time. It's better to bring it to the floor where everybody is here. Because I brought it to the floor last time and you were there. You did not say anything. We shall now do it. You know, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't really cherish these uh, discussions uh, that are... Uh, 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 Senator Raquel, will you be? are you ready to make your presentation on the desk? Just for the record, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, just for the record, all the time. The, we plenary, have not of the, microphone. the plenary proceedings yesterday was not the proper forum or venue. I stand corrected. To you are, you are the all matter. obviously, you all have the answers, and I bow to your knowledge. It is brilliant. The proper forum is, is before brilliant. the committees themselves, not the plenary, because the matter of the EJ case is, and the other, and even the noted, death, noted, the death penalty noted, bill the chair will now proceed. has been go referred ahead, uh, already to the committee. Senator Pacquiao is recognized. You are not recognized anymore. Thank you. Recognized anymore. Thank you.